Ooh, how'd you guys do today, guys? How was this week? <sighs> Hope you guys didn't well this week. Markets are insane, guys. But then again, the markets are insane all the time. Uh, that's what I want to talk about. Claudio, it's the man. Love hearing this, guys. Oh, A here, A E H R. Kicked ass. <laughs> I top ticked pretty much every single wick up, guys. A H A R. I I had like two hours sleep last night. I'm just driving, trading on pure instinct. When you are confident, you trade very well. But the reverse is true. When you start losing, you start trading like shit. And that's what I want to talk about today, guys. We see people making money, but there's a flip side. There's people losing money. You see people losing money, there's flip side people making money. So as I always tell everybody, win with class, lose with honor. We always have to remember there are people out there losing. So you never see me kind of like celebrating my wins. Oh, you fucking long suck and all that shit, right? That's the thing I despise the most, guys. I despise these, these guys who are you know, like, have you never fucking made a winning trade before? <laughs> That's what it feels like, you know? I actually trade with another account too. So I killed it on both accounts. Um, so I have an open order at 348 to cover the rest. But, um, you know, these guys are like, turn this around. It's like, have you not made a winning trade in your life that you must celebrate in the manner that makes other people feel bad? You know, it's like, good for you, man. You fucking won. I mean, does winning, is it such a rare thing that you must, you know, act like a jerk? Uh, and sometimes we forget that, guys. We forget that there's another human element on the other side losing that we, when we win. So we always have to remember that. And I mean, you see me. I post my charts, man. I mean, I, I'm not here saying I'm the best. I'm not talking about algos. I don't make any excuses. Those are the Those are the worst people in the world, guys. The people that when they win, they're the best. They have to beat their chest and they're the best. And they're, and they're like, dude, why don't you join? We're the best. We're the best. And then when they lose, they fucking cry. They blame on everything else except themselves. Oh, slow platform. The data's delayed. Algos, manipulation. But, you know, it doesn't ma fucking matter, dude. You can, so my suggestion is, you know what, man? You sometimes got to block away all the idiots because the idiots will get to your mind. If you see, I mean... So that's what I want to talk about today, guys. I want to talk about the flip side of trading. Uh, we've been doing very well in MIC, knock on wood. But um, but there's people that are losing, guys. We take it for granted. We take it for granted. I mean, I mean, Alex and I have been, you know, Alex took a giant hit to, to some people. But, dude, he made it back in less than a week. <laughs> Congratulations, Alex. I think you're up 100 grand this week. He's up $100,000 this week, you know, and everybody loses. So I remember talking to Alex, you know, when he took that hit, he wasn't shy about it, guys. He, he didn't make excuses. He said he fucked up. He fucked up. He lost $80,000, and I haven't seen him lose that in years. I've never seen him do that, and, you know, he owned up to it. But, he, and, but during that time, when you lose, guys, when you lose, when you lose – you become very, very not trusting of your system, your process. When you win, everything's on fire. When you're in the matrix, dude, everything fucking just clicks. It's, it's like a sports athlete. When, when they're able to make buckets like an NBA player, they make it. But then when they're on the slump, dude, it seems like, dude, the, the basket hoop is like the size of a freaking needle, right? You can't thread it, right? So Alex and I always talk about this. We talk about this all the time. People underestimate Trader psychology. Alex and I have been talking about trader psychology forever. No one talks about this, but we talk about it every single live session. Instagram Live on Tuesdays, I talk about 
trader psychology for the past years, like three years now, right? Four years. Alex does that on Monday as well. You know, the technical side, we, we teach too, but let me see if I'm making money on this. <laughs> um, I have a short 372 on AEHR, but anyways, um, when you lose, guys, when you lose, is the most horrible feeling. I don't care if you you are a million dollar trader. I don't care if you're Alex. I don't care if you're Modern Rock. When I lose, guys, when I lose, dude, I I doubt myself. I doubt fucking myself. Even though I made a thousand winning trades in a row, if I make a big loss, and what I mean a big loss is like a max daily loss. Okay, when you hit your max daily loss, your brain is fucked. I don't care if you've been up a million a dollar and then you lose ten thousand dollars back. Cause that's your if you, if fifteen thousand is your max daily loss or ten thousand your max daily loss, uh mine's like fifteen grand an account or something like that, right? But so when I hit that, even despite the fact that I can make that every single day, when I hit that, something fucks with my brain. I start to doubt myself. I, I start to think, was I lucky all this time? And so all these self-doubting comes in your mind. It's normal, guys. It's fucking normal. And I'm here to tell you, as a guy that hasn't lost, I've been doing very well. I mean, I've been doing this shit for fucking 15 years now, guys. And there's a reason why I'm still around, right? But there, I'm human. And I'm telling you guys right now, man, when I lose, when I lose $15,000, you know, that everybody has the magic number. When, that's my max daily loss. So you put a max daily loss on the number that, you know, that fucking sucks. You do never want to hit max daily loss, dude. You never want to hit max daily loss. When you hit max daily loss, it means that your parachute got triggered. Your seatbelt got used. Your airbag got hit. You do whatever it takes not to get max daily loss. But when that hits, it's like driving a car. Your airbags got deployed. The max the loss saved your fucking life. The airbags saved your fucking life. And when that happens, you get scared. It's like getting into a car accident. You do whatever it takes to avoid the accident. The moment that airbag gets deployed, now you're freaking out every time you get on the road. You have flashbacks about cars hitting you. Because you know what? You know, it's scary as hell. That's what I equate to max daily loss. You do whatever it takes to not to get max daily loss. Too many people, too many people use max daily loss as an alternative for a hard stop. And max daily loss is not a hard stop. Okay, you set the fucking lo stop loss. So an example, AEHR. Here I am talking to you guys on Instagram Live. I shorted it at $3.72. I then went to put a hard stop at $3.81. That is not my max daily loss by any means. I'm only new losing nine cents. You know, I'm not fucking putting a stop loss at max daily loss. This be, this is way lower than my max daily loss. I would have to get that triggered maybe a hundred times <laughs> in one day to hit the max daily loss, right? But too many people out there mistaken hard stops for max daily loss, okay? And those people, you know, you don't want to follow those people. And I'm telling you right now, as a trader, as Alex, Alex was, I mean, Alex is up like, what, almost $2 million this year. 1.2 million, 1.3, I don't know what it is, 1.6. It's a ridiculous amount of number, right? And him losing a little bit back still made him doubtful. He was sad for the day, you know? But of course, we all been there. So. What did he do? Having a tab, trading accountability buddy helps. So he talked to me, he talked to some other people, we calmed him down. You know, it fucking works, same as me. When I, when I fucking took a loss, I told him, and you know, you know, we talk it down, everybody fucking loses, guys. Okay, but the difference is this. The difference is we, we cry, we're human. You know, we, we, we mourn it, whatever the fuck the number may be. But we know that, hey man, we, our system works. You have to believe in your system. Okay, as a new trader, you would never believe in your system because how do you know your system works? And this is why I just shake my head when new traders come around and they think they can fucking figure shit out by themselves. There's no way that you're going to figure shit by yourself. I'm just fucking telling you, you're stupid. You're fucking stupid to trade by yourself as a new trader. How do you even know if your system works? How do you even know your strategy works? How do you know that you, when you took the loss, that the loss was an anomaly or that's just your fucking system suck? You got a fucking guy on Twitter losing 11 out of 13 days max daily loss. 
I'm not going to name whoever, but I'm using that as an example because that fucking pisses me off. The guy lost 11 straight times. Max Daly lost. But this motherfucker won't listen to anybody's advice. He cries and he cries. And the worst thing, it's not his fault. You know who the fucking worst people? The fuckers that follow him. The fuckers that fucking, it's okay, man. Try it again tomorrow. So good. Fuck you. You do nothing but make this guy lose. Because you are so pussy to tell him the truth. And I go onto that thread and I tell him the fucking truth. You are doing the same mistake over and over and expecting different results. And then guys will reply to me, Bow, you're so mean. Why are you mean this guy? Fuck you. I wished someone would come up to me when I was young and say, you're stupid, man. This is not how you do it. You know, you can't figure shit out by yourself, guys. How do you even know your strategy works? You're a fucking moron. You're a fucking arrogant motherfucker. I tell you right now, if you think you can do this shit on your own, good fucking luck. You have all the resources in the world. So I'm not saying anything about MIC, whatever, but my shit works. How do I know it works? Fucking 15 years of it. And I taught many multimillionaires to do it. So you know that if you follow our strategy, that shit works. So you know that when you lose, it's not because of the strategy, guys. But these guys that are new to trading, how the fuck do you know why you even lost? Do you even know your strategy works? This motherfucker thought his strategy worked. He's fucking an idiot. 13 fucking max days of loss. How can he ever fix his mistake if he doesn't know what his mistake is? The only way you know what your mistake is truly is if you have a mentor that's been there, that's better than you. That says, hey, that will tell him, hey, this is not how you fucking do it. Versus he keep trying and blaming every other shit. Bad luck. I got, you know, like, fuck, my pussy hurts. Whatever the fuck it may be. But I'm, I'm so sick of these ass kicks and motherfuckers out there. You know, they, they do nothing but help him lose more. They encourage him. And they go, hey, it's okay, man. Bill's bad, Bill's bad. Don't, don't listen to this rock guy. He's fucking kind of mean, man. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. You, you inspire me. I got, I got one motherfucker that, that told him to re that he inspires him more than his mentor. I'm like, what the fuck are you, how the fuck are you inspired by this guy who refuses to listen to advice? Who lost 11 times out of 13 when I fucking every single time he loses, I try to help him. And you're inspired by that shit? And, he go, and then the guy goes, I'm inspired because you know about, he posts all his trades, winners or losers. Yeah, motherfucker, he lost, he lost 11 times out of 13. You were inspired by that? You were inspired by someone that fucking lost 11 out of 13 but refuses to ask for help? And he's like, oh, Val, you don't post your losses. What the fuck? I barely lose, motherfucker. It's not my fucking fault that I win. Not gonna win. win. I post my charts every fucking day to you guys. Fucking idiot. These guys, you guys are learning to be inspired by the wrong motherfucker. And it's like watching a train wreck. People love to watch a train wreck, but you have to realize that this motherfucker or whatever the situation is a fucking train wreck. You don't be inspired by that train wreck. The worst thing is to watch a train wreck and not help anybody. Some people just follow and look at the train wreck just so they can laugh at that guy. Whereas I am here trying to fucking physically help him. I'm replying. I'm the only guy out there that is telling him the truth. I have the balls to tell him the truth. So this leads back to people that lose. I have a friend a lot. This is the reason why I went on the live today, guys. Because I have a friend. Um, he, you know, he he had a great streak, a winning streak, and then this week crushed him. He had, I think, four max daily losses, or something like that. And it gets back to what I'm trying to say. Okay, if you are able to make consistent um, gains. But one loss wipes you out, okay? That can be fixed, guys, okay? The, the fix is very simple. The fix is very simple. It's a fucking mental fix, okay? Stop fucking, stop trying, how am I gonna say this? When I hit a max loss, I'll just tell you how it is. When I hit a max loss, guys, and, and when Alex hits a loss, our goal the next day is never to make it back. Our goal is just to be green by one dollar. Be green by one fucking dollar. What that does is gives you back the confidence. So the next day you're green by a dollar. Then the next day you're green by a dollar. Now you have four days of being green in a row. Your confidence is back. 
It's training is a mental game. Guys, I can teach you all the fucking technicals, but at the end of the day, it's a mental game. Okay? Your confidence, same thing with being an athlete. You don't think these guys have been good all their life, but then they have a slump, like a like a like a baseball player. He has a slump, he goes on a slow slump. You don't think he's been good all his fucking life? And so this is the difference between a great trader, a great athlete, and someone who's you know the first sign of of like negativity, they go belly up. That's not how so I am here because I, I, I have very good confidence in, in certain people. And I know my friend that took a loss this week are, is capable. But he has to he has to humble the fuck up. He has to fucking know his limits. He is trading way too big. And when you trade way too big, yeah, you're going to get some fucking nice uh, wins. But your losses, how do you control that loss? The sizes I trade probably are less than him. But with my smaller size than him, I'm able to make more money because I trade correctly. It's not the size, guys. It's not the size. It's the process. And you know what, man? You have to trade for your account. If you have a $30,000 fucking account, a $40,000 account, you cannot be fucking losing four days of $2,500 max loss in a row. Your max loss, but you know, you shouldn't be able to lose two days of max loss in a row. The moment you hit a max loss, why the fuck are you still trading the same size? Size the fuck down. You notice whenever I lose, guys, I keep telling myself, I am sizing down. I am sizing down. Even I, after 15 years, you know, realizes that it's a mental thing. Whenever I take a big loss, just like Alex, the next day, our goal is to be great. And I'm telling you, that is the fucking secret to bounce back, guys. Because I know you can do this. If you are a consistent trader but you're not profitable. Remember, I keep telling you, you can be a consistent trader, but not a profitable trader because you can be consistent for 30 days in a row, 30 days in a row, and then you get one fucking hit because you don't have a stop loss in there, that you don't have a max leg loss, and now you just fucking wipe your entire account out. And then you cry, and people, I hear people, oh, I don't know I can do this, and I'm like, motherfucker, you did it. Stop fucking crying, man the fuck up. You did it. You're able to get 30 days of greed in a row. You know you can do it. The problem you have is the fucking ego. Okay? How the fuck are you fucking losing all everything back? It's because when you go on a street, you get overconfident. I, I tell people all the time. When you're on a massive street, you get way overconfident. And usually it ends in a nasty way if you're not careful. Because during that street, guys, during that street, you think you can do no wrong. And during that street, you're pissed off that you didn't size up more. So now you're doing what's called a makeup trade. Because during that streak, during whatever streak, I don't care who the fuck you are, during that streak, you are wishing you should size up more. And you're like, fuck. So now you're so fucking confident, like the, like the incredible fucking Hulk, that now you're fucking sizing way too big. And then you play the cushion game. Oh shit, I'm down. Normally you would fucking get out. But then you're like, oh, I have cushion. I'm up fucking 10 grand this week. Oh, I'm up 5,000. Oh shit, I'm even for this week. Oh fuck, I'm red today. But but I was green last month. I was green last year. And so now what happened is you played this cushion game in your fucking head cuz cuz you know what, man? Cuz you're like you fucked up too much already. And and then you so the, the key is not to get into that position. When you're in that fucking mindset, it's very hard to get out, guys. When you're in that mindset, it is very hard to get out. So the key is not to get into that mindset. And so what you need to do, what you need to fucking do is get a fucking tap and be honest with your tap. The only way to fix a human error is with a fucking human. Because I know guys out there and girls, but mostly guys that have a max day loss, but then they call their broker to remove it. I'm like, what the fuck? I hit max day loss. Can you remove the max day loss? What the fuck? It's like you taking the airbags out of your fucking car. Because you want to fucking keep crashing and not fucking stopping the car. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like taking the fire alarm out of your fucking house. And it's like, what are you doing? When you hear the beep, get the fuck out of the house. But some people, they're like, I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the fire alarm, man. So that's the thing, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, the way to fix a human error is with a human. 
And if you can't fucking deal with that, then I don't know what to tell you. Then you must go to the extreme. I know my friend, I have another friend who, who basically told his secretary or his wife to pull, physically pull the cable out of his fucking computer because he cannot stop trading after 10.30 zombie hour. Do what you need to fucking do to save your ass, okay? Tell your fucking wife, tell your fucking broker, do not fucking let me trade after 10.30. Do not let me lose more than $2,000 a day. Do not, do not, do not, regardless of what I say. Sometimes you just have to fucking, you, you can't help yourself, guys. I, I I mean, I fucking, same fucking shit. Like for me, like, fuck, man, drinking, right? I'm like, hey, but I'll take a shot. Oh, no, no, I take a shot, I'm fucked. Now I'm fucking taking 25 shots. So you, sometimes you, you, you do not want to get in that position, guys. So the key very simply is this, man. The peop, when you lose these big dollar amounts, it's, it's because you, you're fucking, you're overconfident. You have a good streak. The only reason you're losing this is you have a good streak, okay? When, and what's gonna happen is this, guys. If this is actually okay, now you're gonna reset. And you know what, man? My friend, you know who he is. He's still a young kid, man. You're fucking young, man. You still got fucking 20, 30, 50 years of training ahead of you. This is a minor setback. You know you can do this. The problem you got is you got overconfident and you don't know how to deal with that because you found a bit of success. And when people find a bit of success too quickly, they, they forget. They, they become overconfident, guys. So this is when I see my friends all of a sudden make money trading and they become a totally different motherfucking asshole. They think they're the greatest. They won't listen to anybody's advice. All in on Dogecoin at 70 cents. Fuck you, bad. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay, man. You know, and then life and the market always humbles you back down, guys. Okay? Uh, keep doing what you're doing to be successful. But I'm telling you right now, guys, if you have a winning streak, it means you can do it. If you're all over the place, one day you're up, one day you're down, that means fuck, you don't know what the fuck you're doing yet. So you have a winning streak. And when you lose, so I told, I told everybody, man, I have a thread on Twitter. The aha moment was realization that risk management is the key to success. It's not how much I win, it's more how much I don't fucking lose back in one trade. So we develop multiple levels of risk. I'm gonna post that Twitter again, okay? How, how risk management. I fucking made a 10 minute video on, for corporate trading on, on fucking risk management, okay? I'm gonna retweet it, Alex will retweet it too. It's, I don't hear anybody out there giving risk management advice. And there's fucking tricks in that I told you that no one even thought about, guys. So watch that video. And so what do you do now, my friend? The ones that are losing, if you take a big loss the next day, size the fuck down. Your goal is to add green by following the process. Because why? When you size down, you're not scared to trade correctly. The point of sizing down, the point of the next day is not to make money. It's to get you back onto the winning process. Because you fucking, your brain's all over. You doubt everything. You could be making money every day, but then have one big loss. Now you're doubting your entire system. So the point of sizing down is to get back on the winning process. You know, your goal is just, it's not, it's not to make money, guys. Because if you trade well, you will make money. Making money is a byproduct of following your process and trading well. You know, whenever I walk into the trading day thinking I'm going to fucking bank, that's when I lose because all I'm thinking about is the money. But when I tell myself, I'm going to be strict, I'm going to be disciplined, I'm going to follow my process, I'm not going to have FOMO, I'm going to use hard stops, I am going to be disciplined. That's when I fucking make a killing. Okay? So train your brain to be disciplined, to focus every day. So if you want to, each morning, be positive. I will follow my process. Review your trades. Review your rules. Say, I will not be positive. Just don't think about the money. Think about trading well. Okay, guys? So, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. No one's going to talk about this. These motherfuckers out there are revenge trading. Good for them. You know, it works for them. But I'm telling you right now, that's not the way I want to fucking live my life. 
And that's not the way I want to teach people. You know, like, fuck, man, they, they're lucky that they get bailed out. You know, I, you know, there's people that are not lucky. Fucking you down and you trucking try to revenge trade and then you get all arrogant that you got bailed out. I mean, fuck, dude. Making money is not – making money is – I'm telling you right now. You can make one off money. It doesn't mean shit. I'm fucking sitting here fucking every fucking day, knock on wood. The days I, I lose are the days that I want to size up. I want to bank. I swear, that's the only time I – I got like, oh, I want to buy this nice watch today. Maybe I'll make it in one day. And then you force yourself and then – next you know, like I'm fucking all fucked up in the head. So follow the process, guys. And, and we were the first to ever talk about process. Now everyone talks about process. But people don't understand what the fucking means process. Trust the process. What the fuck is your process? You just started trading. How the fuck do you even know what a process is? How do you know what a strategy is? I see, I see so many people talk bullshit just so we get a following. I see traders who just started trading one year ago making YouTube videos, teaching people. What the fuck do you know, bro? The, the scary part about teaching people is when you teach someone, you stop learning. You stop growing. You think you're the shit. Actually, I didn't put a trader. <laughs> When, you know, that's the thing. It's like, dude, I didn't fucking teach someone for a long ass time because I never thought I was ready yet. Because when you start teaching, man, it's, it's, these guys are teaching because they want to make fucking money because they cannot fucking trade, guys. That's the reason why they're teaching. <sighs> it's fucking, you know, man, I, it's, the, the, the world today, guys, is fucked up because social media, everybody can be, Anybody that want on social media, you got motherfuckers that don't know what the fuck they're doing, pretending to be experts. And who the fuck knows if they're expert? That's the problem. But an expert, I don't consider myself an expert, but I, I consider myself very knowledgeable of who knows their shit. I can tell who the fuck is faking. But when someone's faking to an amateur, the amateur doesn't fucking know that they're faking it. And that's how they're getting away with it, guys. And this is why top traders I don't even fucking try to help anybody. Why the fuck they, you know, they're gonna waste their fucking time. It takes a certain personality to want to do this. So Alex and I talk about it all the time. You know, there's some people out there, guys, that's, that's, that, that, you know, we, man, I value more than just fucking money. If I wanted fucking money, I could make money. I could, I could be trading right now. I could be charging you. I could be fucking doing all sorts of shit. You know, uh, money is, this is, this is why I'm telling you, anybody that follows us, Joins the MIC. There's a certain type of personality, and that's why they succeed. You know, they're humble. They, they they know it. It's like the top traders out there, guys. They're humble. You never see them brag. <laughs> you never know who the fuck they are. I didn't fucking talk about trading until until that someone got I got exposed for making million dollars on that family trade. That's how people found me out. But people don't see how I was making fifty hundred thousand dollars a day before that. You know, on a consistent basis, right? It just happens that ooh, that one fucking time I made it. Now, now people go oh, about. So I, Alex and I always say it took us like fucking five to ten years to become an overnight success. <laughs> Think about what we said. It took it took us five to ten years to become an overnight success. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. So, so stop fucking humble yourself, guys. To be honest, humble yourself. And I'm gonna fucking keep telling this. If you're fucking new to trading, you're a fucking idiot not to fucking get mentored. Because you're, you're fucking spinning your wheels. You don't even know if you, what you're doing is working or not. <clears throat> Just because you're making money doesn't mean it's working, guys. Because it could fucking be a – you could be lucky the two times that you made money. And then when you lose, you think it's because of bad luck. But no, that strategy maybe is fucking fucked up. Try fucking making money for fucking three straight years. Then maybe your strategy will work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm not uh, – any questions, guys? This is an important thing. I, I want. I want. You want me to bring someone on? I, I can bring someone on, and then we'll. You know, I'll, I'll leave you guys to a good weekend. Because you know, we did very well this week. Knock on wood. But then when I hear people lose, it makes me fucking sad. And so, to me, to be honest, guys, trading is so fucking simple. I've been doing this a little long, but it's not easy. It's simple. It's not easy. It's you have to be mentally there. It's like I'm fucking tired. I have an hour of sleep. I'm fighting my girlfriend. Whatever the hell it may be. So I know this. So I, I fucking, I am consciously, if I, that happens, I'm consciously sizing down. Today I sized down and I still did great. Let me see how much I made. <laughs> I, I didn't trade that much and I still did fucking great. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but it's, but it's way over the million dollar mark a year if, if I keep this up every day, right? 
is, is, is what I made as a month as an engineer. You know, <laughs> you know. <sighs> All right, who wants to get on, guys? Raise your hand. I can bring someone on and help you guys. Because this is an important matter, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I want all you guys to succeed. The first thing you got to do is fucking humble the fuck down, guys. Even I'm humble as shit. You know, when I lose, I t- tell you, the secret gets so... We play this you need to. Get a fucking tab. I, I saw a fucking foo fucker try to bash our tab program, trading accountability, buddy. And this motherfucker is teaching people to trade Forex. Or whatever. Like, man, you fucking idiot fuck. That's the thing I want to hate, man. I hate the fact that everybody nowadays is an expert. Like, what the fuck? I mean, how the fuck does he become a fucking expert in like, training for a year, you know? Uh, I don't even consider myself an expert, man. All right, I'm going to bring on a, a random person. All right. Here, I'm bringing... Rachi. Rachi 57. <laughs> this motherfucker is bashing our tab program. It's fucking funny as shit, man. I mean, that's the thing. When people bash you what we do, it means they're watching our material, guys, and they're trying to piggyback on our success to bring viewership in. <laughs> it's like, how do you even bash a tab unless you know what a tab is, right? And you know what a tab is because you fucking watch us. I'm going to bring someone else on, Jackpot Jones. Well, I, I've heard reach out. How did I stop bringing him on? Let me see. Well, I try to bring him on. Didn't work. I'm gonna bring on someone else. Jackpot Jones, Bones. How do I join? It doesn't work. Jackpot. Raise your hand. Uh, I can't bring you on. Oh. Hey. Oh, Rachi. Rachi, what's up? Hello. Rachi. Hi. Where are you from? From New York. Okay, tell some, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, I've never met you before, so. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just here. I I have three kids. I'm, I work, um, live for my family, and I've been practicing this a little bit here and there. That's it. Uh, practicing what? Trading? <laughs> yeah, I do paper trading. I don't do money yet. <laughs> so how how did you how did you find us? How how did this whole thing start? I think I came across you guys on the YouTube channel. I did your webinar and all of that. Um, you guys are just very interesting i like your guys' style you guys have i don't know you guys have a great vibe great energy and you guys seem like great mentors great so that's good so so what are you learning what what how long you've been doing this and tell us your progress so far what 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 have you uh tell us something you know let me try to help you <laughs> so Literally, i need a background I'm, i've just been like I've been watching i i have like no experience so i've just been trying to figure out like good entries, good exits. I haven't been doing that great just because I don't know anybody who does it. <laughs> okay, well, you've been watching our videos? Yeah. Um, I, I did a so webinar money, with you let, guys. Let me, let me ask you, so this is honest with you. So money is pretty tight, right? Is that why you don't join? Yeah. And uh, so my first thing to do is this. Uh, to, in order to trade, um, you need to have cash obviously right oh yeah but before you but before you have cash the learning process is not expensive if you try to watch the videos and do all that right mm-hmm. um but if you're serious are you serious about this i really am uh, let me let me do this okay let me uh so don't no one else ask me for this okay we'll, we'll give you three months free because you know you 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 seem very very Sincere, you know, the, I, 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 you know, you, you're very interesting. You're very different than everybody that I brought on. That's <laughs> you, awesome. I, you I know? Would, thank you. Like you guys are great. So my, my, this is what you have to promise me, though. You have to promise me you're going to give it 100. percent I will. I mean, absolutely. Okay. This, you, you have an opportunity where everybody wants an opportunity, okay? And I, to, be, to be honest, I don't like to give out free stuff because people don't appreciate it. They don't, because what, they don't value free things, right? Because we, I mean, I, I've been, if, if it's something's free, they, they just take it, like, they take it for granted. But the fact that you have three kids, you're working your butt off and you're here, you know, and you tell me all this. And, uh, you know, I was surprised that you came on. Because I mean, most of the time, it's, you know, it's someone not like yourself. So you're honest about it. So, hey, you know, I'm taking a chance today. And I hope I hope you're gonna make the most out of it, 
Okay, you know, Bow, uh, I so give you my word. I I put my one hundred. I put my all into it. I've been waiting for somebody to give me an opportunity. I feel like this is almost a sign. Thank you, man. So, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. Okay, in life, you may not succeed in trading or whatever you do, but remember the journey. Okay, the journey will teach you more sometimes than the actual destination. So, the journey of you actually reaching out today to me. Think about that. That's huge. That is something you learned that, you know what, man? Everybody out there, you want something, go get it. Don't be afraid to ask. What's the worst I can say, right? So I say, exactly. raise your hand. And you raise your hand. And, and I randomly chose you out of all, 100. I know. It's crazy. Thank you. So, and, but during the process of learning itself, you're going to figure out yourself. So I'm doing this because, you know what, man? We don't know if someone's going to be successful or not. That's up to you, right? But I know that the process will change you for the better. Because all of a sudden now, you know, you're in a community where you're going to meet people that you may never have ever been possible to meet. You know what I'm saying? So take advantage of that community. This is why I keep trying to tell people, I hate trading by myself. I traded myself for so long. It's the worst in the world. I wanna, you know, but being in the community, you meet so many great people. So, for example, if you want to learn trading, but then it doesn't work out for you trading, but then you're going to meet other people that may help you in your life, in your career, get a job, um, maybe another single mom or, or someone with a kid. I, I'm just making this up, right? But you see what I'm saying? So use that opportunity, not just to, to learn, guys. We are humans, and that's why we, we want to reach out, right? So make connections in the community. So now, welcome to the community, right, guys? Thank you. Welcome. Have, what, is your, what is your name, Richie? My name's Rachel. Oh, Rachel. That's okay, Rachel. Yeah. And are you a single mom? Or are you married? Yes, or I'm a what? single mom right now, yes. Oh, man. I, that's, see, I feel it. You know, it, sometimes, hey, it's tough, right? It's tough. Oh, it is. Sometimes you, you want to give up. The, but you know what, man? Have hope. That's, that's the whole thing. You know, when, when, I felt, when I saw my friend lose all that money, I'm just thinking, and he's crying about it. I'm like, first of all, you have the money to lose. Some people don't even yeah. have the money to lose, right? <laughs> Some people just exactly. want an opportunity like you, right? And so exactly. every day, I, every day I, I remain very blessed. You know, so, and, and it, so I'm going to tell you something, Rachel. It's like, you know, your hardship, but then the fact that you have three kids. Some people can't even have kids. Yep. The, fa the fact that you're able to talk to us on Instagram Live means you have a phone. Some people don't even have a phone. Some people don't even have food. At least you have beautiful children that, you know, or some people just wish they're able to talk. Some people can't talk. Some people are blind. Some people don't have a shoe. You know, some people have legs. So when people say, oh, I don't have the new latest pair of uh, Nikes or something, be glad you didn't have fucking feet. Be, be exactly. glad that you're not fucking paralyzed. Mm -hmm. So I, this is why I tell everybody, nothing really is going to make me super sad because I've been, I, 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 I was born in Vietnam. People don't know. I was born in a third world fucking country. I had, dude, we're, we're fucking poor. <laughs> Vietnam, right? And it was during the war. And I, I'm just blessed to be alive. Fucking surviving the exactly. Vietnam War. You know what I'm saying? So You came I, a I, hell of a long way. I got to say that. You really have. And so this is, you know, there's no, we have to do what we have to do, guys. So I am here to give everybody inspiration that, you know what, man, whatever your situation is, I don't think it was as bad as me. You're born, if you're born in America, it's not that fucking bad. Americans are too fucking entitled. That's the problem. They, they, they think that they're, they, they're entitled to be rich. They're entitled to own a house. No. You, you know what it is? You don't really have to worry about food and clean water. In a nope. third world country... You, you know what it is? All they want is to fucking feed their family. They work not to buy materialistic things. They work so that they can have food just to fucking survive. In Africa, they're eating dirt. They're eating clay, you know? And so when, when, I, when I see Americans crying now that I'm an American, I, I'm ashamed of myself sometimes. I'm ashamed that I, I'm pissed. I can't get this. I can't get that. But then I have to step back and realize, you know what, man? The moment that I'm happy with what I have is the moment that I'm going to, this is like, you know, like, it's like, it gets better from there. Every little step, every day, right guys? So, so I'm glad, uh, make sure you Instagram live DM Alex. 
I will. And then we'll get we'll get you the program. We'll give you the accelerator. You start watching the accelerator. And like I said, you know, you, you know, at least everybody just wants hope, guys. And this is why we come on Instagram Live every day, every week. I mean, to give people hope. And unfortunately, you know, we, this is a business, so I would wish I could give free, but you know, people are not going to value free shit. But we price it so low, guys. I'm telling you, if you grew up in America. $200 a month. Most people can. They're very rare cases. Like, you know, you're a single mom of three, so 200 bucks is a lot of fucking money. But, you know, for most pe- most youngsters out there, you know, look at the fucking clothes you're wearing. I bet you that fucking clothes you're wearing is fucking 200 bucks, you know? Exactly. Um, my, my T-shirt's $10, you know? <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm going to leave it with this. I remind my – I ground myself every fucking week. I ground myself by going – to Costco. It reminds me of my childhood. When I go to Costco, I'm like, damn, $2,000 is a lot. It's going to take a long time to spend $2,000 at a grocery store, right? Mm -hmm. But then when when we're trading, we were like, only made $2,000. Fuck, what a shitty day. I'm just thinking like, fuck, man, you have to grab it. That's a lot of fucking money. It is. (laughs) Yeah, but but you know what I'm saying? So, So do what it takes to ground yourself. Always, always be blessed. And that's, and this, this cures a lot of the trading issues of greed, of FOMO. And this is why people lose. People lose because they're like, fuck, you know, they forget where they came from. Be happy with that $500 that you won. <laughs> you know, I'm like, fuck, dude. I like people making that a, a month in some countries, right? So, oh, great, Rachel. I'm glad, I'm glad that um, I, I was able to you know, talk to you. So, so be inspired. Thank you for you know? having me on. Thank you thank for you, welcoming you. me, everybody. This is awesome. Well, you 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 you, so you made my you made my day. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thanks. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave for the weekend. I just want to share this. I'm like, dude, this is amazing, guys. I, I didn't expect this, so I hope that helps everybody when they lose. You know, it's and you lose because you forget. You forget. You know, like that's why Alex has a stack of dollar bills. Not because he went to his true club, <laughs> his computer, but it reminds me of him how much that dollar goes. So every week, you know, if you go to a homeless shelter, feed the homeless, do something. You know, I, I, go, I go to Costco. I walk around. I, I, I see people walking around, and, and they're, they're trying to compare prices. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, dude. They're trying to save a few dollars, you know? Um, or Walmart. Just anywhere you want to go. And it reminds you, like, holy shit, man. I'm fucking spoiled as hell.